and to really either come on top or, or, or move very much. So he didn't go down, just go down. So go down. So he talks quite early on in this particular part about when the guy's got his let's bring the knees up. Yeah. So he's got his knees up because the guy, guy wants the bridge. Okay, so I'm setting all of this, I'm setting all of this up. And then his his basic thing then was that he said that he doesn't actually like like he'll do this, but he says this is the weakest of the, the four here. So he actually prefers this with the elbow to the ground. So try and move now. So this is very, very hard for the guy to move. And then he says, so I, I feel like I can, I can put them together. I don't know if he actually says about that, but the weight's on my elbow, I'm putting the weight on my elbow. The only thing I think that sometimes is people You've just got to be mindful that people can be dicks in this position where I've done stuff like this before. They, they'll do things like they'll start kicking your face. Yeah. They'll pretend it's an accident, and you know it's not, right? Uh, but people do sometimes do, do that. I don't know if they get away with it, as, as he says in like international competition. I don't know if this like referee starts having a go because, of course, you know, I could just start smashing his face into the ground with my, the back of my leg. Right, something that Dave shows to, to grip break is just to smash, to smash that down. Right, but you sometimes do get people pretending it's an accident, and it's obviously not. Um, but that was the thing. Then is he said this is even better, and the best of all seems to be from what you say is to get his elbow. He gets his elbow here, and it allows him to climb on top to begin breaking. So four four positions on that. Um, so that was that, and then the other thing is so just, I mean, you can just have a play with these in a control position first and try to, try to walk away. Um, and so his other thing is that he said, when he knows people are just constantly walking away, yes, you can come here and pull and go double on here, like a, I'm pulling on his, so try and move away from me now, Jamal. So you actually, he uses cross legs to stop people walking away. And he said, there's pros and cons, it's a trade. Because this um, this can obviously make it easier for the guy to get the slip the elbow to the mat, but he now can't move away because I'm crossing my legs. So he's, he's, uh, uh, so Jamal starts moving away from me. I cross the uh, you know I cross the legs in anticipation. He comes back into me. The cross face. So he calls this the cross facing leg. So this is stopping him coming up or trying to prevent him from coming up. He tries to move away from me. Yeah. Yeah. Are you extending the leg to stop him coming up? Like? Uh, yeah, if you extend the leg, it stops him coming up. Yeah, we covered that in some of the earlier sessions this week. The danger when you, you extend the leg is he tries to pull his arm out. It's all. But what makes it harder to pull the arm out is it's asymmetrical. Uh, asymmetrical legs. It's easy. It's much easier to pull the legs out when uh, pull the arm out when the legs are uh, just purely perpendicular. Yep, let's get that going.